Oh my god. What is up guys? You really know who it is. It's Tag the Games here and man, we have a lot to talk about in this video. Um this is the Shadows of War gameplay reveal, gameplay demo, 16 minutes long. Like I said, we got a lot to talk about. But before we get into this video, um, you know, I'd like to thank my subscribers. Thank you guys. I love you. And of course, if you're brand new to the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. All right, guys. Where do I start? Um, first, let's talk about how beautiful Shadows of War looks. I mean, uh, Shadows of Mordor was pretty sexy back in 2014 but um shadows of war just takes it to a whole new level i mean the lighting looks beautiful the character is just in details um definitely uh, no surprise to warner Bro warner brothers so um it's just crazy on that but i also like to um start out saying that i'm i'm kind of happy that they kept this uh game under wraps for this long i mean it's been three years and we haven't heard from them in a while and then Apparently they had that a uh, target leak. I don't know if that was intentional because you never know how companies deal with all that But uh, it, it is pretty hard to keep a game under wraps in the gaming um, In the gaming industry, so I got to give props to Warner Brothers for that All right, let's get over that. Um, what else do I want to talk about? Uh, let's talk about obviously the nemesis system and the nemesis system was pretty big um, for games considering that you can make dynamic storylines from ranging from you know if you if you died from one of the uh war chiefs or you know any other enemies they would level up and uh rise above the ranks and they would remember you as the guy that you killed or the guy that you know that you tried to kill them and then they would remember you and it would make it more personal and you know each and every encounter with an enemy would be different and unique and no player would have the same experience it was just so awesome and now this this year the nemesis system it's just pretty much it's gone from kaioken to super saiyan it, it is just so detailed now it's just full-blown um you can forge relationships with it with the ring of power you can do the same um you can bend people's mind uh you can forge relationships with the orcs that you um recruit in your ranks for the war for mordor um they can betray you which is pretty awesome um we see this one guy um he pretty much betrays you and he's one of the enemies that you face um you can pretty much have like your right hand man being orc which is pretty weird but it's pretty cool at the same time um the nemesis system definitely something to look out for um another thing i want to look talk about is um the uh linear storyline um if you didn't know uh shadows of mordor you're pretty much playing as a ranger who was killed by um d some dark lords and uh he pretty much him and a wraith uh are combined together and you pretty much are a wraith hunter or whatever and you pretty much go through mordor killing war war chiefs and recruiting them for your ranks for a war that's gonna, gonna go down for mordor and in the second game this is the war and in the first game um it was open world uh there was like three regions you can travel to um tons of enemy encampments and um bases that you can sneak into um but this time around it's looking i don't know how it, but it's looking like um you can just uh select a few of the uh, region that you can enter but it doesn't look as open world as before um i wouldn't say i'm concerned about that i really i don't mind it i'm j it just looks at like it from the trailer we don't know uh probably get more details in the following weeks or um as the game near its release so that's also something to look out for another thing uh the combat if you haven't played the game already you know it's going to be like um batman arkham knight because warner brothers made it it's going to be fast and fluent and there's just so much more things to do as the wraith now uh you can pretty much um tra uh, transport enemies to your location with the the wraith ball and just do so much more and pretty much ec Oh, let me talk about the executions. Now, the executions are going to be just straight brutal and cutscene-like, especially with um, some of the enemies in the war chiefs that you face. Now, speaking of enemies, let's talk about uh, some of the war chiefs that you encounter. Um, this time around, the Dark Lords take control of most of the war chiefs that you will face throughout the war, and uh, there some of them will have like uh, curse marks. And what that does is that will disable uh, your brand new ring of power. So that will uh, it. It looks like some the dark side from Star Wars in a way like that. So something you know interesting to look out for storyline. It's going to be interesting. And 
A few more things I want to talk about. Uh, let's talk about definitely the uh, Dark Lords. Uh, those boss battles, that's looking pretty crazy. Um, there was the one, and we've seen it, the demo, where it, it pretty much the Lord of the Dragons. He was a big guy, and he, he loves his fire. And then there's that, at one point, one of your... Um, your orc allies just runs in and helps you and that's like where the nemesis system comes in you know that is just so dynamic that could happen for one player or it can't for another but that's also um if you have a, a strong relationship with one of your allies they will help you out in the battle with the war chiefs that just makes the nemesis system so dynamic and the uh, final thing I want to talk about is the RPG elements of this game. Um, very, very fleshed out. Way more than what it was last um, in the first game. I'm not saying it was bad. Definitely not. I'm just saying it's way more developed. Um, if you kill enemies, you pick up runes, and you pick up armor, and it's got leveling, and pretty much your army, you can get ranked in your armies. It, it's just so f fleshed out and oh well sorry this is the last thing i want to talk about um if you take over the region you know you kill all the enemies uh pretty much you can choose your base of operations and once you take out that war chief or the lead that that lord for that region you can appoint the lord the um, pretty much one of your allies as lord of that region and that also comes in with what I'm talking about where you know one of your allies can betray you because they probably wanted it more than that so like I said it's gonna be dynamic and it's just wow it, it's pretty much just looking out to be amazing but anyways guys this is gonna be it um just leaving out some breakdowns um Shadows of War, definitely game to look out for. Um, of course, uh, thank you guys for watching this vid. If you enjoyed it, please smack that like button, uh, subscribe, and comment You know what you think about this game. And of course, I hope you have a great day. Peace out. Overlord defeated, Fort Saragost and this region of Mordor are ours.